Welcome to the after work or evening hip and chest opener. One of my favorite workouts in the evening after a long day of work, just to release everything out. So we're starting in down facing dog. Feet are parallel and your hips are pointing up to the sky. You wanna release the chest a little bit. You might wibble and wobble slightly if you want to. Then pick up your right leg, step forward into low lunge and here we go for our first hip opener. So you wanna lower down your hip shooting back the left heel a little and trying to just release the hip down. Knee stays aligned with the ankle, knee over the ankle and try to stay open in the chest. Don't just collapse forward because we need that chest opening, right? Otherwise we cannot breathe. Then with the next exhale, step forward into forward fold. Come with the nose to the knee, release the head. You can wibble wiggle your head a little bit, nod or shake it to release the cervicals to the neck a little bit. Wonderful. Plant your heels into the ground and try to lengthen your hamstrings by pulling your sitting bones up and pressing your heels down. Now we're staying low. We're simply gonna step back into plank position here, planting the hands into the ground, strong core, narrowing the hip points and pushing the heels back. So you want to stay active in your legs, not just sagging in your hips. The hips are shoulder height or slightly lower, but very active. So you have some pull coming up from the kneecaps through the quadriceps to the front of your hip, lifting you up through your center. Very nice. Now get yourself onto the floor. Keep your elbows narrow, flex the elbows until your chest is landing softly onto the ground. Now open that chest again by lifting your shoulders, your chest, your head up by the strength of your back muscles, not pushing too much with the hands. So the lift comes from your whole back line, not from the arms or the shoulder girdle. Then lift again. And if you want to, you can either come up into an upward facing dog, going into a stretch of the whole front line by even lifting your hips, or you're simply going up and down, inhaling into cobra, exhaling, lowering down, inhaling into cobra, and exhaling, lowering down. Then next time you come up, press back into downward facing dog, lifting the sit bones to the sky, releasing the spine forward, and trying to lower the chest bone as much as possible to the ground while bringing the shoulders away from your ears. This is a great chest opener and also frees the spine, so don't stay too static. Then pick up your left leg, come into low lunge on the left hand side. So again, try to release the hips down. Knee stays aligned with the ankle, so knee over the ankle and your right heel is shooting back. Stay open with the chest, don't collapse forward. Breathe evenly and with every exhale, try to lower your hips a little bit lower, opening your hip flexor and step forward into forward fold. Release the whole back line. Just cascade forward with your spine. Bring the nose to the knee, the crown of your head to the ground. Very nice. Make sure to plant your heels into the ground, lifting your sitting bones to the sky, elongating your hamstrings, but folding forward your whole spine and releasing your shoulder blades, your arms, your elbows, your hands, your wrists. Everything is relaxed. You might want to shake it a bit if you want to. Then bend your knees a lot, plant the hands and step back into plank position. Nice strong core here. Core work is important to protect our spine. So especially if you need to keep uh, your spine upright in a sitting or standing position for very long periods of time without moving a lot, we need to have a strong core so the spine is protected and we don't have to overuse our big spinal erector muscles that might then contract too much and be painful at the end of the day. Then lower down, push down onto the ground, land softly with the chest on the floor 
and open the chest with these nice little cobra waves. Inhale into cobra, exhale lower down. If you feel like it, you can come up into upward facing dog, still pulling the shoulder blades together and lifting through the whole back chain, pulling the back of the shoulders towards your spine. And then lift up once more, upward facing dog or cobra. And with the next exhale, push back into downward facing dog with the feet parallel. You can also slightly move, wiggle, step from one foot to the other, lengthen one leg, lengthen the other. You don't need to touch the ground with the heels, but reach down with the heels and reach up to the sky with the sit bones while the front of the body, the chest, the arms is trying to reach to the ground with the chest bone. Great, then lift up your right leg into down dog split, inhale, and then bend the knee and twist over to the left side. We're gonna do that a couple of times, come back into center. And again, bend the knee, twist over to the left hand side, stay parallel to the ground with your shoulders, only twist with your hips and then rotate back into center and elongate the right leg, very nice. Then flex the foot just for the fun, point the foot again, long, long neck, long leg, and then bring the leg back down into down facing dog, open the chest, pick up your left leg, nice long leg, then bend the knee, twist over to the right hand side with the left foot, Shoulders stay as much parallel as you can and then rotate back with the hip points parallel to the ground, elongating your left leg. And again, bend the knee, rotate over, up and over, stay long, whole left side is elongating and then shoot the leg back out. We're gonna flex the foot once and point again. Very nice and then come back down into downward facing dog. Wiggle wobble if you want to, release forward, release the shoulder girdle. Then step forward again with the right leg into low lunge. We're having one last hip opener and chest opener combination. So first of all, release your hip flexor again. Maybe you can already go a little bit lower or bend the forward knee even more. Some people, I'm sure, put both hands to the inside or can even rest the elbows on the ground. Then come up into your first warrior, releasing the shoulders down, opening the chest. Slight little back bend here with lifting the eyes a little bit to the sky and then release down, planting the hands and then simply step backwards into downward facing dog. Pressing the hands and palms firmly into the ground, now change leg, left leg is coming forward into low lunge, releasing the hip. Stay really low here, shooting your right heel backwards, the hip coming down to the ground, the left knee is over your ankle. And depending how flexible you are in your hip, you can come with both hands to the inside, maybe even lowering the arms lower, or you simply stay here with the hands on the floor. Then pick yourself up, stay low with your foundation with the legs and come into warrior one. Nice little relaxed shoulder blades pulling towards the rib cage, towards the hips. Relax the fingers and then exhale down, step backwards into downward facing dog. Try to reduce tension in the shoulder girdle that might have been building up. Then pick up your right leg again, last circle. Down dog split here, so lift the leg up as high as you can, still opening the hip here and opening the chest and step forward into low lunge. Inhale, come up into your warrior straight away. Breathe it, inhale, opening the chest. You're doing wonderfully. I hope you're feeling much better already. And then exhale, lower down, plant the hands and step back all the way into down dog split, lifting the right leg up into the ceiling. Down dog split and then release down. We're changing legs straight away. Left leg is picking up into down dog split. 
lift the left leg up into split and then shoot through all the way from up there forward into low lunge wonderful plant your foundation stay low lifting your chest again now try to really release your shoulders they're probably two tens anyway so you can let go a little bit here release the hands the elbows the wrists shoulder blades keep breathing and exhale plant the hands down left leg is shooting all the way up into down dog split big circle with the leg into down dog split and we're lowering down well done now jump a step forward into forward fold bend the knees jump a step and stay in forward fold and then when you're ready with the next inhale slowly roll up into standing coming back up Inhaling, bringing the arms overhead and releasing down. Wonderful. Congratulations for taking these 10, 11 minutes for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this, especially your body, chest opener, hip opener, so important. And I hope I'll see you all back very soon. Bye.